Hey everybody, Timit Karambat, founder of Ramp, back again. Uh, we're going to be walking through the contract side of things now. This video might be a little long because Ramp can really do a lot. And really, I want to be sh absolutely clear about what Ramp does, what each feature does, and uh, just have this be just like a really easy reference for anybody who's new to Ramp or if you're interested in using Ramp and you're just watching these tutorials uh, for your health, I guess. So in the last video, we walked through uploading all of our stuff to IPFS. We can see that that worked out successfully and that things went quite well. So what we can do now is close Pinata, and now we're going to do everything through ramp. So we're going to go to set up our contract. Now you'll notice straight from the get go that there are two networks available as I am doing this demo. By the time you use ramp, we might have more. We probably will have more. So. This demo, you know, might feel a little dated, but in general, these things are all about the same. So the first thing we have is our project name. So your project name is going to be also the name that appears on your collection page on sites like OpenSea. So we're going to call this ramp monkeys. And we're going to have this be monkey and we're going to have a collection of monkey images hand drawn by Watase.eth. Watase.eth is the friend of mine who gave me these source images. Uh, I'll be linking their tutorial in this series because they go much, much more in depth on how they made the art and also using ramp. So very highly recommend their series. I'll link it in the description or in the video. Um, now, project royalties. This is how you get royalties. So we have a couple default percentages, one, two and a half, five, eight, and 10. Um, you can set this to no. Uh, this is a test project, uh, so I'm going to have no royalties. Uh, website. This is basically uh, on OpenSea. OpenSea will show you a website for a project um, that basically when you click it, it'll be like the project's website. So like, uh, you know, there's a there's 100 customers and more of websites that I could refer to you to. But basically, this is like the website where people would go to learn more about your project. That's all. You'll notice that this field, I can't change. Uh, this is actually pre-populated because we already did the IPFS step. Now, let's say that you are a creator, but you want to own your server that serves the metadata. We allow you to do that. And if you did not, if you skip the IPFS step, this field will actually be editable and you can actually put in your own custom HTTPS URL. It must be HTTPS or else your images will not appear on OpenSea. So we're going to save and continue. Now this is, this is where things start to get like crazy. Okay. So these are the current contract features of ramp. So we'll start at the top and we'll just, I'll give you the, you know, the ins and outs of each feature. So only owner minting, what does this mean? Only owner minting means that the person who deployed the contract is the only person who can mint tokens off of the contract. Now, why would you want this? Typically, you want the public to be able to buy tokens directly off of your contract instead of having to find them on OpenSea and buy them on a secondary market. That is true, but there are contracts where people want to very strictly control the supply of tokens that are already available and therefore minted. So if you have, for example, a collection of 100 images, but you very, very specifically only want 10 available at a time, where like, you know, month one, you drop 10, month two, you drop another 10, and you do that for 10 months, you would want this because otherwise, uh, because also there's no reason to have the public minting functions in your contract, it will just increase the cost of deploying your contract. So allow listing mode, aka whitelisting. This is a feature you're probably already familiar with if you've participated in any NFT drop ever. Uh, so this is basically a collection of addresses that are going to be able to mint when other people are not allowed to. So they could be getting a special price and they could be earning this slot by participating in your Discord or whatnot. Um, our allow listing, uh, which I guess I can turn it on just to show this feature later, uh, will uh, is using Merkle tree whitelisting. So this is a very gas efficient way of having a whitelist of 10,000 people and it only costs you $3 to update your contract. So allowing minting on deployment. Some people like to launch their project 
and then have if just you know if, if anyone wants to mint just go ahead and mint even though i just launched it some people don't want this they want it to where their contract is closed and when they specifically open it up is when they want people to mint now Keep in mind, as the admin, you can mint even if the public minting is closed. So if this is closed, you as the admin and the owner can always mint. But sometimes you might have some really, you know, brainiac kind of people on the blockchain waiting for new contracts to drop and then minting on them without the owner even knowing. Because you can actually look for contracts that are getting recently deployed and this is how you would actually snipe those things. And, uh, you know, so be very deliberate about this if you want the public to be able to mint as soon as you deploy then you would keep this enabled by default it is enabled maximum mints per transaction so this is actually just like a really nice convenience feature it keeps people from just buying like let's say you have 10,000 nfts in your collection from doing a 10,000 nft transaction um this limits basically how many tokens a, a person can buy in a single transaction now, alternatively, there is also the restrict wallet mints function. We can enable this, but I'll ha probably have it disabled for this project. But this would actually restrict how many times a wallet can ever mint on your contract, ever. So if, it, now as the admin, if you admin mint someone a token, this rule is bypassed. But for public minting, if some address comes along and mints three, they can't take those three that they own and send it to somebody else and then try to mint three more. No, they've already minted their three uniquely. And so now they can no longer mint any new NFTs from this contract. So this is something that some people want to have when they want to essentially uh, limit the probability of whales on their contract. Essentially people that own way too many of your NFT. Because you want a diverse group of people owning your NFTs. You don't want three people owning all of them. That's just a recipe for disaster. We're going to turn that off. Uh, limited token supply. Limited token supply is by default on. I highly recommend you do not turn this value off. Uh, you should really only do it if you know what you're doing. Um, keep this on. And we know that our collection has 8,888 monkeys in it. Um, but we know from the previous video that I actually, because I'm on the free tier of Pinata, I only have 100 tokens. Uh, with images. So we're going to actually put 100. Um, but basically, this would be the number of tokens that you want in your collection. And you should have a matching metadata and images count for this. So if you have a token supply of 200, you have to have 200 JSON files and 200 images that go with those files. So that's just something to know. Minting fee. So mint fee is how you make money. Uh, when someone goes to your contract and tries to buy one of your very first tokens or 12 of your tokens, you should be earning some money for that. Now, keep this within reason, right? 0 0.01 is very cost effective for a lot of people, but of course, we do not prevent you from putting it at any value. Um, so you are welcome to do that. Uh, this value can really be anything you want. Um, it is a minting fee, so we would recommend you keep it above zero, at least for when you start. You can make this value zero after the contract. And then pre-reveal drop, we didn't set up an IPFS, so we cannot enable this feature, but this would just basically enable you to unveil your images later. Now, now that we've gone over every feature, it is important that you know that if you do not include a feature here, like for example, minting fee, and you generate your contract, you cannot add minting fees later when your contract is already deployed. So be sure that you have all the features that you and your community and your managers are going to need to make your collection everything you want it to be. The reason that we do this is because we actually remove stuff from our code, from your contract essentially, um, to make your contract cheaper to deploy by removing features that you don't use. So that's just one thing to know. So be sure that everything that you would ever want is included. Um, you cannot change the token supply once you're minted, but you can always change the wallet mints, the mints per transaction, and the minting fee. And you can always update your allow list. You can always update all of the stuff that you would expect to update. Now, now we're on the payout screen. So Ramp gets 5% of the contract balance when you click withdraw. Your customers will not be paying this 5% immediately. 
because it wouldn't make sense to charge them the gas to send you and ramp money. So instead, this money accumulates on your contract and then you would be able to click the withdraw button and you would get 95% and ramp would get 5%. These values cannot be changed once the, uh, once the, the contract is deployed. This is just so that we can have equal trust that ramp will not modify any values and that you won't either. So be sure that whoever's in your team, which you can have as many people as you want, as long as these numbers add up to 100%, you will be fine. Um, and just be sure that these are people that you want to keep in your team long term. Because once you have them in there, you cannot remove them. Now, header mark. Header mark is a new premium feature of Ramp. It is free for early adopters. So as of the timing of this video, it is free. And you'll actually see that we have this kind of... Uh, this little ASCII logo maker we can we can use. This is a totally different project. I just really like this guy's work. Um, and so yeah, like it's you can choose literally anything you want. There's a thousand million options here. Just control A, put them in there, and now you'll have your own little key. Um, so we'll go to save and continue. Now we're gonna generate the contract. So I'm just gonna click this and get started. This can take up to three minutes. So it all depends uh, on a lot of different variables, but if you just sit here patiently and wait for that little spinner to stop, you'll see some output from this, uh, from this action, and that'll actually show you the source code of the contract that you generated. So I'm going to come back to this video once this contract is done generating, and wow, okay, so I didn't even have enough time to take a break. Um, anyway, <laughs> here's the source code. You'll see that we have our own little custom header image. Uh, that we wanted this is like a you know a cool little way for you to customize your own little con your own contract you give it your own you know piece of flair we actually let you see the entire source code you're welcome to go through it and audit it or send it to a developer friend uh, we do implement erc 721a right now so if that is something of interest to you then there you go um, but that is pretty much it for generating a contract in the next video, we're actually gonna go over deploying that contract to the Ethereum Rinkeby testnet. And we're also gonna go over verifying our contract so that you know people, when they review our code base, will see that we are a verified contract, we have nothing to hide, and we are a legitimate project. Um, we will also go over uh, the like dashboard and all of the other stuff you can do with Ramp at a later time. Uh, but that's it for this video, so tune in for the next one.